Hello, everyone. Um, we're here for this talk about uh, Miro Kramer's practice, and I'll quickly introduce what he is or what all he is. Miro Kramer is an artist and a curator, but going back to his practice a little bit, uh, he studied theater and literature in Munich, and after that he practiced as an art director for various labels for 15 years in Germany. Um, and after that, he became a freelance artist. So he has his own practice and he works as a curator and an art mediator and art director for some projects as well. Um, he first came to Karachi for, uh, since you guys all belong to the textile industry in some ways, um, he came to uh, Karachi in 2017 to respond artistically to the Baldia factory fire. He did a residency at Basel Artists Association, and that's how the two of us connected. Um, and he created this artistic response to the entire scenario because Germany was in part linked to that incident as well. And so Chord of Desires came into being. Um, and so his practice actually evolved more and more into something that integrated social change, even within his design um, interests, social change and the idea of social change came into being. Um, and so right now we're here for this research project that looks into artistic practices and craft practices that compare Munich and Karachi and how communities have like an embedded history of uh, of fabric and fabric techniques and textile techniques within them. So we keep saying that, you know, we're so fascinated by the fact that the Sindhis always do the ajrak and the topi and the, the Boras do the, the rida and they have the, the karhai practices, the balochi have the tanka, the Parsis do the gara. And so all of these things are embedded within their identity in communities. Um, so that's what our research is about. Going back to Miro a little bit, going back and forth, sorry, uh, super casual. Um, Miro uh, currently is, is uh, working as an artist and a researcher for this project. Um, and I'm assisting him, uh, working with him. And um, he also, uh, through his discursive practices of social change, has founded Denkraum Deutschland, which is a program for contemporary artists in uh, Pinochetek de Moderna, which is the Modern Art Museum in Munich. And he's also founded the Glockenbach Biennale, um, which happens in, um, obviously, every alternate uh, year um, in the oldest part. So you can compare it to Sadr uh, of Karachi. So it happens when one of the oldest parts of the city of Munich. Um, with various artists and uh, locations. So now I will hand it over to Miro and he will share his practice with you. So, hello everybody. Some of you I met last Friday, it was a big experience, it was very nice, I see some faces and I feel very comfortable here, what you're doing. So here, I thank you for the introduction. Uh, it seems that I am an old man, but I, I, I have to say I did many projects in one year, so, <laughs> so I will start. Um, I, I studied literature and theater, uh, and then be, even more, I, 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 I was, grew, up, I grew up with uh, textile. My mother uh, herself was a designer, fashion designer, and so, but I thought I should do, like my brother, something more serious, so I studied literature and theater, but then more and more I recognized that I want to do, I want to make fashion, and I started my first, uh, my first fashion label, or I work for a fashion label in 1996. And uh, then I did, I really have been in the market, and here I will show the first picture is, it was in 2007, I did a show, I, I really, um, I had the, the style was very classic, I worked with, with very exclusive materials, I have to say, all was produced in Germany. This was for me in this time very important, uh, not because we, did, we do the best quality or something like that. So I want really, I started with the idea that something should be sustainable. Uh, in this time, it was really rare, I have to say, but people say, why do it? It's more expensive. As, like you said before, it makes no reason. Now, I, 
uh, people understand more. And um, so, but I have always, uh, I saw it also in your work, there is a lot of artistic approach in your work. In, in my, in my uh, work, it has been as well. And I saw it was even more and more. And um, so I, I did, I, I really followed my artistic uh, approaches. And for example, here it was, um, it was a really a golden leather jacket. It was one of my eight pieces for some time, 15 years ago. Um, so more and more, it was a very special label I did. Um, and it was based on on really like you on my on my really intenses on, or my my inspirations, and then it, I took this photo um, because I was in this time I had a showroom at a famous street in Munich um, in it's the Maximilianstraße, uh, and there were a lot of people with uh, in in the summertime they wear burkas. You know, and for us in this time, it was something very new. And I was very attracted about this because I saw, I saw always in the eyes. And for me, it was interesting that I saw that whole identity through the eyes. You will laugh because it's for you, it's normal. For me, it was very, very special. And like a fashion designer, and I saw it in your sketches as well, I want to, I want to come nearer. I want to look what is it, yes? And therefore, you see, perhaps, I placed this place of the eyes on different different places on the on the dresses to, to on, and there was written i am i i am what i am you know um, to to come to this idea of the burka nearer because in this time um, munich was not a migrant city in the, now yes and i worked a lot of in this in this field but it was the beginning and i'm very proud that it, this time I, I started as an artist to develop this idea, you see here as well. You know, I, start, I This was the inspiration was the burka, and then I worked in a free way on my Western style to do something. Um, here as well, and it was covered by a net, for example. And you see, but for you, you see, it's a typical Western style. And this is my dog. <laughs> so. Um, I want to show you only that, that I was really in this market. You all will, uh, inshallah, develop one time, you know. Uh, I did a, a lot of fashion shows, big fashion shows. But for me, um, I more and more figured out that I'm more an artist than a fashion designer. And um, in, in, in Germany, it's, it's different from here. Um, in Germany, you, you are a fashion designer or you are an artist. And when I came first in 2016 to do, we speak a little bit later on, on the Baldia Fire um, factory, um, I was so happy that people say, you are fashion designer. Oh, yeah, you're an artist, you know. Uh, and I see how it is nice combined here that you are, and it's true, because as a fashion designer, you are an artist. Um, I, I bet also understand the German concept is, and a designer is, that the artist has no goal at the end. And the designer has the goal that fits the dress or that it should sell the dress. So it's, it's, it's you can understand, but I like the, the concept here because then I was ever an artist. So I like to be in Karachi there. Um, and then, it, then if you talk about migrants. Um, in 2015, I don't know if you know that, um, many migrants uh, uh, came coming to, to Munich or to Germany, a lot of. And me as an artist, um, like before, you know, I told you about the, the Burkas, I was so interested, what, this, what about these people? We want to integrate them. And I did here, you see, this is a project I did in the so-called Kunstareal. It means an area in Munich where all the museums are. I did a, a, a funded project with refugees and we did it we based it on textile because i saw on the picture on the television that these people who lost everything they but they were well well dressed because this was the identity this is the only thing that people have and so we together decided to create some um some costumes and you know this material, I don't know, the, the, perhaps you know the name. It's this white material. It will be, it will be 
um, it will be used when there is an accident and people are covering with this white. I don't know exactly, but this is the material on, and we uh, printed something on, and and we did a, um, a performance um, where we build with stones, with with very light stones. We build walls together in a performative way, and then we we destroyed it and the wall, we build it again. This was again my uh, my first social project because I included the first time the migrants and for the Munich people it was really the first time that they are not only a problem or something or we should do something economically. It was we we, we worked together in in the culture, you know, and because of that, in two thousand. Um, is 16, I was invited by the Pinacothek der Moderne. It's um, uh, one of the biggest contemporary art museum in Germany to do a four months um, integration project with 60 migrants. And um, for me, was textile was always the language. So uh, I worked with, with these people together with Munich people, and we created at the end, after these four months, a performing. It was nice because, you know, we don't know the languages, the different languages, but the language of fashion, that was there. And we, there's a, a view on this, um, on this um, performance. And you see, we started with the fabric, with the, with, the, with the clothes, with clothes which were black and white. And then you turn it and all was colorful. That means the cliches, you know, they're coming black and white. We don't understand this. And then during the performance, um, you have to turn around and they close it like this and our world is more colorful. Easy language, but it's, it, it, um, um, fabrics shows it easily. And then it was in 2016, I love it at Hira, because I was invited for the Lahore Biennial and, and Russell Artist Association um, to do here um, a, a two months residency in Karachi. It was, it was uh, I have the, the freedom to, to choose something what I, work to, what, to, what I want to work on. And for me, Karachi was always um, uh, combined with this Baldia fire accident because, you know, um, me as a, as, an, as a fashion designer who are based in Germany, and he, who is focused on sustainability and fairness knows that in this Valdia uh, 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 factory uh, were built German German jeans. You know who knows about the Valdia factory fire? Yes, have been to Valdia ever? Who? This was the same in 2016. Um, but I was there. <laughs> so this is for me, for me was very, because I want to, yes, this was, I heard about in the news, it was shocking for us. And you know, the next year there was Bangladesh. Um, but unfortunately, they're always talking only about Bangladesh. Um, but uh, it's 260, in, 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 together it was about uh, 500 together, was injured and dead, but I think 260, 270 were murdered, ever uh, dead in this fire. I don't know exactly, sorry. Um, but um, yes, I, I, I had the idea to, like I did it in the museum in Munich, to work with the families of the victims in the language of textile to overcome this and to also to react as a German, as a German fashion designer on this idea. And so we, uh, to make it short, um, it was, at the end, there were 120 people involved. We involved students like you. We had interviews with the victim families on, on the idea that I thought, what can I do? What, what, it is not, what hurts not the people? And what is, what is something I could, as a designer or an artist, could do? I'm not a politician. I'm not a policeman. I do not nothing. But I know that this young girls and boys who worked in this factory had their desires. And so I asked the, the parents what, are, what are the, have been the desires of their children. And this was really interesting. Uh, Hira did with me a lot of interviews in Baldia town. We are sitting on the, in the little houses and we asked for the, before there was a lot of sadness. Sure, they all want to tell, tell about their the uh, mooring and all these things, but then we turned it and asked for the desires, and then 
the 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 faces were open and they they laughed and said some things like uh, they love um, eating um, how is it? Briyani, <laughs> eating briyani or or something like that, and and then with these interviews we go all over Karachi in 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 different schools and so because in your day and hour, instead of we Germans is the textile in every family. You know stitching, you know the embroidery, you know going to the tailor. And so I thought with this language I could ask them to make, uh, because at the end there should be flags, you know, installed like, you know, the, the these flags, you know, from um, these this, uh, wishes flags. And so I cut it, uh, I, I did a, a jeans flag as a frame and inside was cotton. And I gave this piece of cotton to every one of you. And then they responded on these desires. And at the end, we have 60 flags and we installed it. And here you see, um, I have been, the first show was in Ikra University North because I thought it should be near to Baldia, you know, because everyone said, no, you, had, you should uh, install it in the fancy DHA or somewhere down there. No, I did it first in the Ikra North and all these people from there had to go by buses. And um, this was the first installing. And the second was surely in, in front of the Indus Valley School of Art. You see here the flags. And uh, under the flags, there have been the, um, the rose petals uh, with a lot of smell. And you know these roses, you know for sure, it has different meanings. One is the wedding and also the memorial. So, this and we installed it also in the Empress Market. It was really tough, I would say. I don't know if it is in these days it would be possible, but we had the courage these days and on Pakistan shock. And then, yes, um, to, this, this is really with these two projects, I said the first migrant or the two migrant projects in Munich and then with this wonderful experience here in Karachi. It was for, for eight weeks and was really... I was in love with Karachi and the people. Um, I, I, it was the social impact in my textile work. So I, I wanted to do more combining textile with, with some social issues. And this was a project in 2017. It was in, in Munich and it was in, in Karachi. Um, and it deals with a, a very old painting, which is one of the museum in Germany, they called Alexander Schlacht. There was a, um, a battle between the Orient and the Occident. And the funny thing is it was, it was um, paid by the king in this time to do this battle, but the, the painter did it like this. There was no winning. That it was only the two colors and they are on balance. There's nothing winning about the other, nothing under and over. I like this painting very much. And the the occident has the blue and the occident has the uh, red and, and and orange color so i invited um uh, um and and pakistani dancer sunil shankar i don't know if you know him and in this time uh, um and from india but here in karachi she um yushinda shakar she was a, she's a, a dancer from napa and then i had german dancers and I have a tabla, spiel, a tabla player from India. It calls overcome. Surely it means also overcoming the battle between India and Pakistan. But also we had a um, battle between these different dancers. So we did it in Munich. And here is we, we, sh we had the chance to shift it to Karachi uh, for the Karachi Biennial 2070. You saw it. Uh, yes, this was really nice because we have also uh, not only the Indian tabla player, we, uh, we have also the Bavarian tuba player. I don't you know. It's a brass instrument like this, very big, make woo, woo, typical Bavarian sounds. He was also with us with this thing. It was a very nice experience. And it was by, by textile and by, by performing this tool without any other um, language in. So you see this... I'm more and more shifted 
into social impacts with my with the textile because I see textile is really a language we all speak together. I saw it on Friday. We we are talking about something and there's no cultural difference between. I understand completely what you are meaning. So the next thing, you know, this is about life that you do the next step, the new step. This was really one of my biggest step. Um, I was invited for the Venice Biennial in 2019 to do on this in this Palazzo Bempo. It's a very nice, old, very old palazzo in, in Venice. I did a performance um, it called Cosmos Luna. It was 1969 uh, where, uh, where the where the moon was first time there was a landing on the moon 1969. And I was thinking about, because, you know, till then, the world thinks the technique, technical things could bring us to heaven in a way, you know, a step more, a step more, landing on the moon, and then, and then, but with this moon landing, all comes down, you know, you know, now we have to go back, we're recycling, we should come back to the nat natural things. So I did a performance on that uh, um, idea, and it was interesting that I did not performance costumes. I really did a fashion collection for this, and all these pieces were on sustainable materials. Also, the leather was recycled leather. It was um, a recycled plastic inside. We did the whole thing on recycling and sustainability, and we showed it. And for the performers, it was really tough, but they had to perform in leather pants. You know how, how difficult it is, but then was a zipper here on the side, and you could dance because the zipper was open. Um, and it was yeah, we had two venues for it in in in, in this um, in this uh, yes the show for the opening for the Venice Biennial. It was really tough, but then you know um, I show you this, and then the pandemic came and and something changed. You know. But this was interesting because I, 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 in this time, after the Venice Biennial, you know, it's always like success. You are feel very, very important, yes. And you, and but I felt I lose my social impact a little bit. You know, it's nice. It's all done. I'm the, I'm the best in my when I stand in front of the mirror. But I'm losing. So I really thought, what can I do with, um, with. Karachi with the Baldia fire accident because the things with the you know the the conditions of the workers outside Karachi not the workers here inside the tailor they have it's wonderful but you know this it's not sometimes it's not easy because it's, um, not about money it's more about uh, working conditions and so and we 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 buy in Germany the, we want to have cheap 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 uh, fashion and it should be more cheap you know. So I thought, what can I do? And I was invited for a muse in a museum in Augsburg. It's um, uh, we have only two textile museums in Germany. It's one of them, and it, it was a, an exhibition about quilts. Um, and I did out of these flags. Remember the flags I installed? I did this quilt piece, and um, it was uh, a reminder on the idea uh, of the Baldia fire factory. Uh, it was then. 10 years after, so that we have should always have this in mind. And also you, I please you that if you are working uh, on your ideas, please have in mind that you should also look for the future, that we have live in a fair, way, a fair world. We should try it. But it's also on you and on us clients, what we, what we buy. Um, and I see the last days here in Karachi, you have understood it more, I think, than we in, in Germany sometime. So the next thing is, um, yes, it, it's all based on this Karachi stay, so you know why I'm coming back always. Um, yes, because um, I was invited for, um, for a show um, where, we, we, where I want to show the, the, how the collaborations are going on. And, this bag you see here, I, 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 it was a collaboration between um, Karachi and Munich. The bag itself, out, uh, out of leather, will be uh, have, have been made in Munich. And inside there was um, how you call it, pulkari? Is the pulkari a pattern? Yes, the pulkari pattern on recycled rice sack. And you see this material. 
um, the lady has on her dress is all this rice sack material. And it was, um, I, I showed an installation where in the middle you see this uh, picture. And on one side, I showed how this leather bag is made in a, in a, in a workshop in Munich. And on the other side, we filmed, uh, here helped me as well in this time, we filmed the workers of the Pulkari and was this installation to show because, you know, here you, you can't imagine because you see the tailors, you see the embroidery craftsmen, you have the direct contact. We only have the chops. Because I think sometimes if I would ask children or young people and they see um, a jacket or, uh, or a T-shirt, they think it comes from, it, it, it grows, on, or grows on, on a tree, you know, but they don't know the different steps or they don't know the value, what it is, how long it takes to make a shirt. So this was this project for. And then comes the pandemic. Um, and we have, it's, it's interesting that we all suffer, uh, we have been suffering on the same thing. Um, uh, and here I did on a, on a, on a lake in a, in a park in Munich. I, I normally was invited to do a wonderful performance in front of our castle in Munich, in Nymphenburg. I was invited to do a, a performance. Um, and then the pandemic came and we are not allowed to do that. And so I, I worked with three um, performers on the, uh, on the three basic forms of design. I, I think you know it. It's the circle, the sphere, and the triangle. All out of that comes every design we have, you know. And these two, these three, have uh, these white clothes. I have no more picture on this laptop here in Karachi, so I couldn't show more. But this uh, Lycra, Lycra, uh, a sphere and these performers are working with them, you know, and uh, the other on triangle and the third on on the sphere, and and it will be shown in, the, in installed in this lake and people are allowed in, in Munich in this time to go out for a walk and they could see the film. I think you have been also there in this time. It was really nice also in the evening, um, and for me it was like this because we have this this basic um, this basic forms and then we as artists or we as human beings should stretch it should do something with it that the creativity should stay there and then it's interesting with i really recognized with the pandemic it, it all of us had the same feeling that we are more in, interested in our in in ourselves and we have to work with ourselves because it struggled a lot and so till since then um, this is also lycra these three pieces are lycra and the inner thing is is really stitched inside you know it's not on the the sphere is not stitched on it so it's inside and then I, um, I have these forms, and then it's, it's very, they're very nicely done, very perfect. And then I'm doing the stretching before on these frames, you know, you understand? This is, therefore, it looks like this. Not, it's not a failure. <laughs> it should be shown that not as everything is perfect, and it's on me doing something new, you know? Remember our talks on Friday, and we say, okay, this is the idea, and now it's coming, your idea of doing a fabric. It should be something new. It's not only perfect like this, done like ever. It should be stretching something. So, and this is um, what is very recent, because it was last year, in a, in a, it's a gallery, uh, near Munich, and um, you see, I do this. I, I'm really addicted about this lycra, um, and I work with. I don't know why. Please ask me not why, but I, I do work with lycra. It has some 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 feeling for me. It's it's based on you know in Germany we use well, this, this place. We have the the fashion there, and then we both said no, we will not exhibit there, and we we were thinking that it's so hard sometimes that art is in our in our country don't know in your art is sometimes on the second place yeah there should be the business there should be sold something that would be politics and all these things and then it could be art it could be something nice and therefore we, we decided to call it goddess art it's an um it's a light installation 
and we have these bags it is printed on because and it was not for sale it was hard for her because she helped me this time with the gallery and all the people asked could i have a bag and they said, no it's not for selling <laughs> so um and this is um the last um the last exhibition i i opened it before leaving it to um to karachi Uh, it's a show I, I working also with behind these two uh, 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 pieces are lycra. It's again lycra. It's printed lycra. All the different uh, shapes are inside the lycra. It's not on on lycra. It's really stitched. And you know all about that. If we have two elastic fabrics to to stitch it together in a in a correct form is really tough. And so I work always this in. You see, you can't see um, because it's German. Um, the the left one is more, and uh, or more, and the right one is even more more, isn't it? Could you say how you can translate more and more more, or what is how you could translate it in English? The feel mehr. You know feel. Did you know that it's feel? Here is feel, and here is mehr. Ah, it's the writing. Yeah. How you could just translate it? More and Even more. Furthermore. furthermore, yes. This is uh, yes. I, I worked on on the idea, and always you see this is uh, the 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 circle is um, pink, and this light blue. It's always uh, plays with the idea of gender. And on the on the right side, you see this is porcelain. I started this uh, this year with porcelain, and it's interesting. You know, have any of you? Uh, any contact to porcelain as a material, me neither before. Only that I like it, the tea cups and so. But I like it a lot, and and so I get I get an access through another an artist. And I have to say, you all, because you're all working with textile, porcelain is so similar to to textile. It's have the same feeling you work with. So perhaps you have one time a chance to work with porcelain. The only thing is that you have to burn it after, and it is some trouble, and you can really, it's its not so easy, but the handling is really like fabric, so I will work work more with it. Why I'm showing it, and here's also a piece of me, uh, downstairs an installation that is a broken, and it, it means something, you know, it always means something. But I want to show, now you know why, I, why I'm coming back to Karachi, because I thought, okay, This will be always one part of my artwork, will, textile artwork, will be that I work on, on installations or, or, or some works for the wall. But there's not the social impact is so strong. And I really felt also together with Hira we, we, that we should do again more to open our minds. And so we thought we're coming back with this project is called, you told about mindful threads. It means that um, in in Munich there there are now a lot of migrant people and also migrant artists and they do the women a lot do textile art you know but if I am also a curator for different for museums and also galleries I want to always include it because it's my it's my profession and always people say oh no I don't understand it's not so nicely done or it's too nicely done I I see that the people there don't understand the codes of your say you or, or other countries that they work with textiles so I say oh no I'm not accept accepting it I want to here to come Karachi because Karachi stands for everyone you know he has all different people are uh, there are different languages of textile And I want to really to learn more about your codes that everything is combined with the meaning, with with the, the community. And we do we do some interviews here with um, some pioneers of textile here in Karachi, but also uh, young artists. And so to really to 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 in a film, and we have it on camera that we do a film out of it because then we are going to Munich and we will find. We, There, migrant artists who are working with textile and also Munich artists. And then we do it all together in a project. And we will have it, we will show it here in Karachi. You are all invited then. And we, are, we will show it in, in, in Munich. Uh, to, to really, to, to, that is, that we should be shown that textile is not only something nice to wear 
or uh, uh, embroidery is not only nice, it means something. It could be also political, it could be religious, it could be very, very meaningful. And it would be so sad if, if people do not understand what, what an artist means, you know, and then therefore it would be not invited to a gallery or to a museum. So this is our idea. And, and we had uh, two weeks uh, research project here. And what I'm doing, um, you see the, the, I have it here inside, you could show me the, the bag. I will do a bag again because um, this form of a bag, I show you with the lady, you're sitting with the rice sack material. Uh, it's based on two spheres. Thank you. Only this is this bag in this time, it is a little bit older. You know, if you see the shape of this um, bag are two spheres. Let me see. This is, if you have it like this, like two spheres, um, and it means infinity, you know? And so I worked a lot with this form of, of, um, of bag in, 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 in art projects. And again, this time it will be a bit, little bit bigger. I will work with the Babut uh, community. You know all about this. It's a very nice project. I learned it. Um, and um, I will do the, the bag again out of cactus leather because, you know, it's all about sustainability. I, I don't know. I haven't worked. Did you ever work with this uh, leather? No. Did you know about it? Yes. Good. I not. <laughs> I have to research it more, but it's interesting. You know, I heard that Gucci will be um, finishing all leather goods in 2026. All goods. It, it will be never do leather goods. And you know, Gucci was famous. It was based on leather. So we have to really find. But I think we have to do more technological st stuff in this. It's not really. But for an art project, it's nice to have the cactus leather. And then here, always the same. This side will be made. Um, and yes. <laughs> so I thought, what can I do? You know, it's what can I do that will be produced here in, in, in Munich, and it's, um, it, it is something, and you know all about your rice sacks here, these fancy things, yes. And this will be the, the basic of the, of, the, of the bag. And then uh, these people, these women from, from Babut, will um, embroidery and all these things on it. Um, and also their names, and we interviewed it for their stories, um, it is really an homage on the workers there, um, because this is what I want to show. Because me as a fashion designer in former times, I had the I had uh, the the production uh, of the of the clothes or the the the, uh, the jackets, and I don't know who made it. And with this project as an artistic approach, we want to bring the the, the so-called peacemaker. It's nice they call it peacemaker as a peace. Um, or the piece and, and, and install it on the wall with some cactus plants. This is the idea. You will, I, I, I say to you, normally you shouldn't say as a ready project, but then you can see if I really have been successful for this exhibition. Yes, and now I'm open for your questions. Perhaps we have some talks about. So, uh, is this going to be a part of your final project, the one that you uh, will do? So yes, the, the bags. And what's the timeline for that? The, um, <laughs> good question. Um, <laughs> it's all, and this is, uh, it's all about money, you know. So we are, we have the money for this research project now. And now with the, with the content, we go to finding some funding. I think we, we start, oh God, it's on camera. We start um, 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 exhibiting it in, in December in, in Munich. And we're coming back in February to Karachi, you know. I would like to add to that. I think that the timeline is also based on the fact that we're working in collaboration with two cities and we're working in collaboration with the peacemakers. Um, peace, when we said peacemakers, so Bermuda actually calls the workers who come in part time, picks up the pieces of the orders and, and take them back to their homes. So that's why they're called peacemakers. So we're working in collaboration with the peacemakers, and so our timeline is actually dependent on their availability because they're working on these pieces in their houses in whatever circumstances they have. So when they are done with the pieces, 
<laughs> but it's part of the project. Yeah, we are, we are no all, push. yeah, no, there is no push. Yes, let's see. But normally we are fast. So, <laughs> but we have we have six exhibition in 2016 here in eight weeks. So, yeah. I think. Any questions um, or my I who is doing some f fabric or textile works not to wear at home? You know what I mean? That you're doing something with fabric, which is for the wall or something. Does some one of you? Show me, show me who, who is doing that. Do you are doing that? Oh, you all did it. Ah, very good, very good. So for you, it's not something strange uh, uh, working with textile as an artwork. Yeah. No, no. It was different in 2016 when I asked this question. It's interesting, though, you see. And the school is very good, you have to say. Yeah. You're, really, you're, you're really based on artistic, artistic um, skills. Any questions? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I have to say, really, I'm very impressed about uh, the school I said to you before, because I saw some schools, and I've been in 2016, and I see, really, it's on point. It's really contemporary, what you are doing, and also the confidence of your students is amazing, and it's very good. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you so much.